What's up everybody? Marvin Floor here with another Great American Survival. And in tonight's video, we're doing something special. Tonight we're cooking. We're cooking with our Firebox Scout and we are going to be cooking some fresh perch, uh, some asparagus, and then we're gonna cook some rice on the burner. Uh, it's very exciting. I've never baked with my Firebox um, the Scout. I've done it with my full-size firebox and my billy can. So what we're gonna do is that's what we're, our plan is for tonight. So if you love fresh fish and you love eating them, stick with us, guys. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so first off, what I've done is I've taken my, my scout and I've loaded up some briquettes around the sides. Um, there's about, I don't know, three layers. I'm gonna drop that down in there. I'm gonna let that get started. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Drop some of these down in there just to help get it going. This is gonna take a little while the way I'm doing it to get it started, but as you see, we're gonna have it going here in no time. It's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna show you what we're cooking. All right, so these are our perch fillets. Um, I put a little bit of this salt-free Creole seasoning. I'm gonna put another layer. I'm gonna put a layer of black pepper, and that's gonna be good. And a little bit of garlic salt. Very nice. As you see, fire's going in the background. Got all this going. I'm gonna go grab my billy can. All right, so what I found out is I found these cheap little foil pans. And what you do is you can just bow out the sides and you still have enough room when you push it in that it goes in and it'll cook. So that's what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these over here. These are my butter pats. And I'm just gonna take my perch and I'm gonna layer it put it right here on top of this asparagus for me. I want it to be a one cook meal. And I'm just gonna layer these on here. This thing's gonna get so hot, it's not gonna matter. So we just wanna cover it. We want it all nice and layered in there. Take ourselves some butter, put this on here like so. Because this is going to take probably close to an hour. So the sun's going to go down. So we'll, that's why I'm doing it up where I am. So um, we can see how it's going to work. And then all you're going to do is lock that down like that. And I like doing it this way. Because if I do it the other way, I can't hold on to it when I turn the pan. Uh, so I want it to be like that. Even though you won't see that on the, on the thing. It won't be on there. Boom. Just like that. This side up, and we are loaded. Uh, we are gonna let our briquettes get going a little more, and then we are gonna stick this on there and rock and roll. Excited. All right, so as you see, fire is going really, really well. It's only got those little fire starters in there, but it'll be going here. We're gonna wait till we, basically till the coals start to turn gray. That's what we want. That tells us that they're ready. already turning gray but we're not far we're far from ready so we'll get back with you all right so we got our briquettes going got our fire going well i mean it is putting off some heat i'm hoping we get at least 20 30 minutes out of this before i have to start stacking more briquettes in there but i'm excited i hope you guys are too this is going to be awesome i love catching fresh fish and i love eating them especially uh, these right here were caught. We were fishing over at Sandy Creek State Park. And then we rolled over and we decided since we were headed up towards Gainesville, we were going to fish Lake Lanier. We fished up on Lake Lanier and caught two, three, three, three keeper, good size keeper perch. Very nice. So got those all cleaned up, put those in a bag, seasoned them up, 
We've got them on this bed of asparagus. We're gonna cook some rice to go with it. And uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited because I have never baked anything that needs this much time. I baked some stuff that cooked in 20, 30 minutes, you know, and done the briquettes and it worked perfect. So this is gonna take a little longer and I'm excited. So now that's a bed of coals. That's after about 15 minutes. I was checking it just to see if I needed to add some more briquettes. I'll give it another five minutes and then I'll put some more briquettes on there and load it up just to keep it going. We need about another 30 minutes at least. So I think we'll be good after that. All right, so got the pot off. Just wanted to show you, this is after, we've been doing this for over an hour is how long this has been cooking. I had some stuff to do around the house, so I just left it going. Came back every so often and just restoked it. Move that a little better. All right. Now, my wife's gonna be mad. I just burned one of her frickin' mats. And, um, yeah, I overcooked it. Um, as you see, it is very well done. The asparagus is absolutely destroyed. Wow. That got a lot hotter than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be able to handle the heat, and it handled it, but the food didn't. Holy moly. Well, we shall try again with some more fish in the near future. All right, so yeah, that did not go as planned. That was horrible. Uh, the asparagus was basically condemned to hell and um, just awful. I mean, the fish was still edible. I ate it with the rice, still did that, but I have to say, so we put 12 coals, uh, briquettes in there and then we put another six. I don't think we need that. We'll just stick with the 12 the next time and we'll try and do one later on this week but I figured I'd still share it because even though it ended in tragedy, it was still a learning experience and that's what it's all about. So next time 12 briquettes will more than cook something like that hot enough. Probably didn't need to go an hour, but it still was fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put a link down below to Firebox and all their incredible stoves. And I just really enjoy being outdoors and cooking in this stove. Uh, especially when you get into the aspect of the billy can and being able to bake, you know, it's just nice. So thanks guys for stopping by. Thanks for sticking with us and finishing the video. And we hope you guys have a wonderful week. Make sure you take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless guys. We'll see you soon.